Oh no, this is not good. One of those. I'm not quite sure. Hey guys, there's something going on with my Surat Jar Darlingi, the rare horned baboon over here. This is my female. This was actually my second tarantula and there is something going on with her right now. As you can see, there's a water dish over here because I just provided that for her in case she was thirsty because, I mean, this could be a little bit too high for her. No, actually it's not. She has been drinking from here, no problems. But I put in a bottle cap just in case because if you look at her, she's pretty sluggish. This is not how a Surat Jar Darlingi should be acting. These guys are old worlds and they bolt these guys are supposed to be bolting and this is one of the times that i am hoping that she will actually bolt on me as you can see she is yeah she's, she's pretty sluggish and this happened after she has given birth i mean laid eggs and the baby's hatched if you can see in there right over there you can see one little baby over there this egg sac did not have a lot of babies for some reason i don't know i think there are like probably like 10 babies only before this when we paired her she was doing perfectly fine right but then after she gave birth after the baby's hatched why do i keep saying giving birth yeah i don't know something wrong with my head but after the baby's hatched out she has been I don't know, she, she's not been doing very well. I don't think I should do this, but I mean, look at this. I can even pick her up. She's an old world. She is one that will usually attack and bite. But I mean, look at her. I can literally pick her up and she's not doing anything. You see? She's, oh man, I, I seriously, I don't know what am I going to be doing. Look at this. This is not how a darlingi should be behaving. Oh man, I, I don't know. We may lose her, guys. I'm afraid that we may lose her. <sighs> I mean, this is my second tarantula. And I'm not ready to lose her because she has been doing super well. I got her about when she was about, I don't know, one inch or something. And now she's a good five inches. And yeah, she, she, she's not looking too well. I don't know. I mean, I will not disturb her anymore. I know I just held her. But just to show you guys that she is not herself. Usually, she gives us one of the best takedowns. When you drop something, she goes, whoa. But, but, but I mean, now she is uh, just just not acting like an old world i mean she's not even acting like a new world because i don't know on her deathbed yeah i mean we've had a male darlingi on a deathbed if you haven't checked that out watch that video i'll link it down in the description below we preserved that guy and i i seriously i don't want to even think about preserving this girl because she's been awesome she, she's she's been one of my favorite tarantulas and uh yeah it sucks to see her in this condition because there's really nothing going on nothing wrong with her enclosure you see she has webbed up the entire place like literally she has made this enclosure into a web haven and she has been thriving in this for years i mean she she was rehoused in this like last year but she's been thriving for years and this is just mm, yeah i just woke up today i came to her and she is like this i'm not sure man I don't know what's going on. She wouldn't eat. I've tried feeding her. She just refuses to eat. But maybe I'll try again. I'll get a super worm. I'll chop it in half and get her to scavenge on it. But I doubt she will because as you saw when I picked her up, it doesn't seem like she has a lot of strength anymore. So even if I put the worm in, I don't think that she will be able to fang. I mean, grip grip the worm with a fang because her grip is totally out now. If her grip is good, she would have bitten me. Oh, man. This is... Seriously, I have no idea what to do. Uh, I, I, I don't like seeing females go and this girl has to go. I hope not though, but it looks like I've just got to face reality. If this girl passes away, this will be my second tarantula that actually died on me. The second female tarantula that actually goes. But I just, I just don't want to accept the fact that she is going. But I mean, you never know. Although we, we, we kind of already know what's going on over here. And also before this, her butt was like super big. And then now when she she's in this condition her butt just shrunk i don't know why <sighs> why girl why are you doing this i know you don't want to do this but why this is not you at all this is seriously it's not you you gotta man but but guys just don't touch old worlds okay even if they're in this condition because you never know but i'm quite confident that she wouldn't do anything to me so yeah i guess that's it for this video. Just to update you guys on this girl. I'm not an update because we haven't seen her in quite a bit. But just to show you guys what's going on with this beautiful girl over here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to... 
take out separate the babies and hopefully we will have another female hopefully the other female the babies will be able to replace her and not all be matured males because there's not many babies in here that one is still over there so if you guys have any input on what this girl's going on what she's going through let me know in the comments below so yeah um i guess that will be it you have been with us for quite a long time and uh, it sucks to see you go. I'm not saying you're gonna go, but I'm fingers crossing that you will hold up and change. I don't know, but I guess I just gotta accept the fact and you're my second tarantula. My first tarantula was a mature male, Chaco Goldeny, yes. Mature male, they pass away really quickly, but this will be my oldest female. Yeah, my oldest female and my second female, my oldest female that passes away so yeah i'm gonna be trying to give her another super worm to see and hope that she will eat for us and yes i know there are tarantula molts in here my avicular is molten and i just threw their molts in hand super worms seem to be eating them i'm gonna see if she will scavenge again so yeah let's choose this super worm this is gonna be brutal so a black screen will happen like right about Okay, so I've got a chopped superworm over here. I will be putting this in for her and hopefully she will scavenge on this because you can see there are juice at the uh, top over there. So hopefully she'll detect this and eat or scavenge for us. So there you go, girl. Just, yeah, there you go. Have the juices exposed to her fangs over there and hopefully she'll take it for us. Darlingy, how are you doing today? I hope you are doing well and hopefully you're still alive for us because in the previous video I mean the one that was just a little few seconds ago you were not doing very well So let's see I just got back from work guys and it's been quite a tiring day today I mean it's it's Monday today and you know Monday blues blue Mondays and oh my gosh door Why do you always have to slam behind me? But yeah, anyways, um, oh no, no wait wait freaking no What's happening? Okay, I just put mealworms, I mean superworms over here, the chopped ones, for the slings to come and scavenge. Oh no, the female doesn't look to be doing too good today. Okay, wait, let me see if she will move when I use this, this tong. And yeah, she doesn't seem to be moving. Oh no, this is not good. Let me get her out. Are you, how are you doing? Oh no, no, no. Oh my gosh, that's the end of her, you guys. <sighs> wow, my day just got even worse. Wait, what? She's still alive? Wait, what? Is that a sign of movement? Girl? Oh no. Yep, another tarantula on its deathbed. Wow. Oh my goodness, why? What is this gonna happen? I mean, you can see she's still twitching. If you look closely, I'm not blowing. I'm not blowing the web. See, she's still- Oh my goodness, yeah. You know the previous tarantula that was on its deathbed? I filmed that video, the one where I preserved him. That was also a Serato Jairus Darlingi, and that was her boyfriend. Yeah, that was her boyfriend, but I can't- quite remember if the pairing with that guy was a success. I'm gonna have to go and watch that video again, but oh my goodness, this girl. What happened to you? Look at that, she's, she's twitching. Oh my goodness, yeah, why am I even showing you guys this? <sighs> Sorry guys. Not a very pleasant video for you as well for me. I mean, more for me because this girl was my second tarantula. My first tarantula was a Chaco Goldeny, which was a male and then he matured out as mature male. I do have his two daughters, like these two over here. This is one of his daughter and this is another of his daughter and they're both doing super well. So after I bought that, that male Chaco Goldeny as a sling, I started to get addicted to tarantulas and then I bought this girl, which thankfully turned out to be a female, but wait, are you gone? Wait, what? You're gone? Oh my, wait, did we just witness her last breath? We just witnessed her last breath. Yep, we just witnessed this tarantula's last breath. Now I feel kind of bad for just pulling her by her legs because I already thought that she was dead because when I touched her with the tongs, she did not move at all. Oh wait, no, she's still moving. Oh no, yeah. You know what? What 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 is this on her? What what are these white things? What are those? I'm not quite sure. <sighs> Seriously, this is not my day. I've already had blue Mondays and you make it even bluer. I mean, it's not your fault, but yeah. Okay, guys, I will just leave this girl alone because I. Don't I don't want to be poking her, I don't want to be turning her around. I'll just leave this lid on and just let her go in peace and then we'll see what we're going to be doing with her later. Maybe I'll preserve her. Maybe yeah, I think I'll preserve her because she was my second tarantula. So technically, since my first one was a male, this is my first ever female tarantula. <sighs> I've no idea what happened to her. It only happened after she gave birth or her egg sacs hatched. I don't know, was she too exhausted looking after the egg sac? Was she too exhausted incubating the egg sac? I'm not too sure. But yeah, there goes this girl. Yeah, this sucks. Okay, so we'll leave this girl over here and I will come back in an hour and we'll see how that goes.
it is the next day and guys <sighs> she's gone i can literally i can i can smell her it's it's quite smelly and you can see there are like little flies all around so i wouldn't be surprised if there's already maggots inside because this is like literally after 24 hours and it looks like she died shortly after we saw her yesterday because remember when i pulled her out she was already like on her deathbed and not moving much so i guess that is the end yeah that's it ah rest in peace girl rest in peace you've been good I I guess her time has come. Hmm, you can see this little fly, a gnat. I think it's a gnat that's flying all around. And yeah, that's one on her right there. There we go. Yep, it's going into her, into her fangs. I'm pretty sure they have laid eggs, which will in return hatch out into maggots. So yeah, now I guess I cannot preserve her because I came pretty late. Usually when you want to preserve something, you got to preserve them when they are still fresh and not stinky. But this is, yeah, it, it's gone. I'll probably go and bury her. Hmm. Sad. My second tarantula. Oh yeah, and also it was my first ever female tarantula as well as first ever old world tarantula. Yep, she's gone. Ah, things like this happen. I mean, she did well. If you guys want to see more videos of her, you can check out the other feeding videos. I think she's in most of the feeding videos, so go check it out. So yeah, now I'm just gonna have to go bury her and say our last goodbyes.